Hey everybody, welcome to Photo Blue, and today I'm going to show you how you can resize and export a uh, photograph as a JPEG in GIMP. So when we shoot photographs, a lot of times we want the best resolution that we can get, uh, particularly if we're using a camera other than our cell phone, but we may want to share those pictures or use them on a computer or a website. And the a photograph that is um, shot on a uh, mirrorless or a DSLR tends to be a lot bigger, particularly if you're shooting in RAW. So if we take a look at this photograph here and we look at um, the sizes of some of these photos, here's the photo right here. Here's just a regular JPEG of it. Here's a, a Nikon RAW image and here's the XCF, which is uh, the native format of GIMP. So if we look at the details here, smallest one currently is the JPEG, which is 12 megabytes. The raw Nikon file is 26 megabytes, and the XCF file is actually 212 megabytes. So that's those are significantly large, particularly if you want to share them over a cell phone or email them and just use them for a computer or your your uh, smartphone or the internet. So if we go back to our photo here in GIMP and we go to image, we can look here at uh, scale image. And you can see here this is a 4008 by 6008 uh, image size which is bigger than you would need typically for a uh, computer. It's, it's good if you want to make a huge print or something, and it's good to capture things in that resolution. But it's not optimal for sharing over the Internet, and people aren't even going to view it in sizes that that's going to make that much of a difference or any difference at all. So if we shut this and go back up to image and go to canvas size, you may think this is where you actually rescale it because this is the actual size of the canvas. But the problem here is if we, for example, if we put in 1080, it resizes it, but when we, when we go uh, to resize, it only captures the corner because it's actually cutting a piece out of the image. It's not actually resizing the image. It's just changing the canvas size, which is like taking a photographic print and cutting part out of it. So let's undo that, resize, and bring it back. And let's go to image, and let's go, let's go to scale image. And here we have this locked so that, we, that it will keep, it will maintain the same aspect ratio and everything. A good size, just as a rule of thumb, is 1080 to make the height 1080. Um, or the short side of the image if it's a vertical image. 1080, 1080 is uh, full HD. You could also make it um, uh, 2160, which would be 4K if you wanted to. Uh, but this, this size is pretty good size in general for most uses, and it keeps uh, a pretty good resolution as far as that goes for most uses that are on screen or for a computer. You can also size it to a particular size depending on your need, but this is where you would do it and, and all you have to do is pick one side that you need or one dimension that you need and it should um, scale it out. Now if you need a particular dimension, both dimensions to be a particular dimension and your photograph isn't in uh, that aspect ratio, you may have to crop it. Uh, but that's a different video. So let's scale this. And it goes down because it's that much smaller than it was. And so if we go over here and go to view, fit Im image to window, and it brings it back up to uh, normal size right here. So we want to export this photograph now. And we've already resized it to the size we want. So we're going to go to Export As. And we're going to go down here to select the file type. And we're going to make it 
uh, JPEG type. And then we're going to hit export. We already have a uh, file by that name, so let's rename it. I'm going to name it 1080 size so I remember that it's a smaller version of the same image that I have. And then I'm going to hit export. And it's going to give me the choices here for JPEG. I like to put it to to full quality, 100% quality. You can you can mess with the quality if you you want it like to be a smaller image of the same uh, uh, of the same size of the same as the same dimensions. But generally, that's what I put it on. Uh, so I'm going to hit export. And when we go here and look at this. It is now uh, it is now only uh, two megabytes in size. So that's how you resize and how you export an image from GIMP into a JPEG. You can also use the same process to export it in other formats that it supports exporting in. This has been Photo Blue, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.